Hi students, this is Alex here. In this problem, we are going to form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary functions. In this given question, we find the number of arbitrary functions are 2. Those are f and g. So, we are going to use dou z by dou x, which is p, then dou z by dou y, which is q, and dou square z by dou x square, which is r, then dou square z by dou x dou y, which is s, then dou square z by dou y square, which is t. Use all these things to eliminate the arbitrary functions. Now let's take the question. We take this as the first expression. We are going to differentiate this first expression partially with respect to x. So the z will become dou z by dou x. f becomes f dash of 2x minus 3y and as per the chain rule we have to put into 2. Then coming to the next term it is a product of two terms. So we have to use product rule. For that we keep the first term as it is. Differentiate the second one. g dash of 2x minus 3y into 2 plus keeping the second term as it is g of 2x minus 3y derivative of x is 1. And here whenever possible we just to group the terms from first and second we can take 2 common after that it is f dash of 2x minus 3y plus x into g dash of 2x minus 3y and the last term is as it is g of 2x minus 3y. Let's keep this as a second expression. Then once again we take the first expression, differentiate the first expression partially with respect to y now. So z will become dou z by dou y and f becomes f dash then we have 2x minus 3y then as per the chain rule we have to put into minus 3. Then coming to the next one once again this is a product rule but now x is treated as a constant so the x is kept as it is g derivative is g dash and 2x minus 3y is written as it is and derivative of 2x minus 3y is minus 3. Now we find minus 3 is common here. So we take minus 3 common bracket open f dash of 2x minus 3y plus x into g dash of 2x minus 3y. And let's keep this as the third expression. Now we find similar terms in second and third. That is we have this entire term even this entire term present in the third expression. So we can substitute the third one in the second expression. So let's write it here. So substituting 3 in 2. Now our second expression is dou z by dou x. dou z by dou x equal to 2 into. Now in place of this we can substitute dou z by dou y by minus 3. So we can write minus 1 by 3 into dou z by dou y. Then bracket close plus g of 2x minus 3y. So bracket close plus g of 2x minus 3y. Now let's rearrange this. So we take dou z by dou x. This minus 2 by 3 we bring to this side. So plus 2 by 3 into dou z by dou y 
equal to g of 2x minus 3y. Let's keep this as the fourth expression. Now we are going to take the fourth expression. So differentiate this fourth expression partially with respect to x. So this become dou square z by dou x square and 2 by 3 is constant. This becomes dou square z by dou x dou y and on the other side it is g dash of 2x minus 3y into 2. This is our fifth expression. In the same way let us take the fourth expression and differentiate this fourth expression partially with respect to y. So this becomes dou square z by dou y dou x then plus 2 by 3 into dou square z by dou y square and g derivation derivative is g dash of 2x minus 3y and as per the chain rule into minus 3. This is our sixth expression. From this if we divide that is the fifth expression divided by sixth expression. So what will happen is in left hand side this becomes r plus 2 by 3 s yes, and this becomes again s yes, 2 by 3 t and here these two term because of division gets cancelled and finally we left with only 2 by minus 3. If we cross multiply this minus 3 is multiplied with this entire term this whole thing into minus 3. So minus 3 r then minus 2 s equal to and this entire term is multiplied with this 2. So 2 s plus 4 by 3 t. Now bringing all the terms to one side this minus 3 r we take to this side. So it become 3 r. Then taking this to the other side it will become plus 4 s. Then the last term is 4 by 3 t equal to 0. By taking LCM, the LCM is 3. So 9 r plus 12 s plus 4 t equal to 0. So rearranging this 9 r plus 12 s plus 4 t equal to 0. This is our required partial differential equation after eliminating the arbitrary functions.